Hey, good evening and welcome to the Overtures concerts being presented to you live tonight from my living room. Hi, I'm Jeremy Wall. Uh, I was a, on the board of directors of the Rockland Conservatory of the Arts uh, and uh, I am a uh, pianist and composer and uh, I'm very happy to be here tonight to play some music for you. I'm actually going to begin with some music from a, a Spirogyra album and uh, Spirogyra is the group that I'm probably best known for. It's kind of my claim to fame and uh, we are a jazz fusion group that's been around for a long time, done a lot of albums. Uh, anyway, this is from our uh, song from our biggest album hit of all. It's actually sold over a million records. And this is a song called Little Linda. As I said, that was a song from our second record, 
and we've done many more records and I've been lucky enough to write a lot of songs for these uh, Spyro Gyro records and it's interesting because you know we take in a lot of the influences from all of the styles of music in the world and that's really what makes it, that's why they call our music fusion right we're known as a jazz fusion band and that's because we brought together many different sounds and uh, <coughs> and uh, was very successful with that so actually i'm going to do uh play for you another song that i wrote for spira gyra and um this comes from a dream that I had when I was sleeping by the ocean in Brazil. And these beautiful chords came into my mind. And I use those chords are the basis for this song. And uh, because it's a dream, I call it the Portuguese word for dream, which is sonho.
You know, so as much as we incorporated all the music of the world and literally pop music and uh, uh, international styles of music and classical music and incorporated all sorts of music, <clears throat> we really, of course, were so much inspired by the great jazz masters of our generation, of the generation before us. So uh, Miles Davis and John Coltrane, of course, uh, Herbie Hancock. And another great inspiration was a uh, man who just died just last week. Uh, his name was Chick Corea. He uh, was a wonderful pianist, composer, musician, and great inspiration to us. And uh, uh, I'm going to play one of the pieces Chick wrote uh, of his children's songs. He wrote over 30 of these and has published them together. And they're wonderful little pieces. And I'm going to actually do uh, children's song number seven by Chick Corea. So I ha had a very good friend and a neighbor, a guy named Ed Simons. And uh, Ed uh, was a wonderful uh, musician, uh, violinist, and conductor. And, you know, a leading light in our community. And Ed had a vision I think over 60 years ago, a very simple and powerful idea that every child should be able to receive 
good quality music lessons. And this is where the Rockland Conservatory was born to us and has done such a fantastic job over the last 60 years plus. So I'm gonna play a piece that is actually one of Ed's very favorite pieces and I dedicate this to our great friend, uh, Ed Simons, and especially to all of the wonderful people who have done such a beautiful job of maintaining Ed's vision and keeping the spirit of Rockland Conservatory alive. And you know who you are. Thank you so much. Okay, so, um, um, you know, I had a, a very lucky experience when I was uh, 10 years old. Um, I had been uh, 
studying piano since I was six. And, um, and it came easily to me. And by the time I was 10, I had actually played you know, a number of the pieces uh, in the repertoire. And I happened one afternoon to just turn on the TV and find myself watching the great classical pianist Vladimir Horowitz performing at the White House for President Kennedy and Jackie Kennedy. And uh, I was stunned to hear how uh, beautiful the music sounded. And then I heard him play a piece that I myself had played, a Chopin waltz that I knew that I played. And then here I'm hearing Horowitz play this. And of course, what I realized from that is that you know, classical music is really about so much more than just playing the right notes. It's really about bringing a sense of uh, drama and passion and using sound as a way to, you know, communicate. And this is what Horowitz, of course, was doing so beautifully. And it just gave me such a great lesson uh, about playing classical music. So I'm actually going to play for you that piece that I heard Horowitz played, Horowitz play when I was uh, 10 years old on the TV. And it's the um, uh, Waltz in A minor by Chopin. And I want you to, while you listen to this, consider kind of this scenario for this piece. All right, um, old man lives in the mountains, has had a hard life and thinking back on his hard life. And, uh, but then he thinks of the joyful times, the good times, the happy times. And then he remembers when he fell in love and felt the passion of love in his life, but that love turned sour. And he returned back to his memories of his difficult life. He has one brief chance at the end to think of the great magnificence of life, but then settles in the end back to his uh, disgruntled state of mind. All right? So check that out. And uh, this is Chopin Waltz in A minor.
right, well, I'm going to play one more. And uh, this is by the great French composer, Claude Debussy, who uh, just wrote such incredible music for the piano. And um, so this is a piece he wrote that just so texturally interesting and so colorful. And um, it's called Gardens in the Rain. And really what it depicts is a weather event. All right, it starts with a light pattering of rain and then eventually it becomes stormy, right? Interesting and dramatic and stormy. And then it kind of goes into this sort of hazy drizzle and then has a, just a beautiful, dramatic conclusion where, of course, the sun comes out. So please uh, enjoy this. Uh, Gardens in the Rain by Debussy.
right, thank you so much. What a pleasure it has been to play for you tonight. Uh, and once again, I thank all the folks at Rockland Conservatory, all the great work that they do. And uh, please look for the other concerts in, these, in this Overture series. And uh, let's just all continue to support the conservatory, all the great work that they do. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm Jeremy Wall, and I'm saying good night to everyone. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>